Breaking off the top at six, the principal of Flowers High School, Dr. Gorman Brown, has been reinstated after two months on leave. Yes, the union representing Brown confirming to Fox 5 tonight that he can now return to his job, and it comes after multiple fights broke out at Flowers High School yesterday. Now, Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez joining us live from the newsroom with more on this story. Steph? Yeah, Angie, Ken, this pretty disturbing here. Just in the past hour, though, we learned a school spokes spokesperson is now confirming several students have been suspended and other disciplinary actions may be pending. That spokesperson saying 10 fights broke out in just one day yesterday at Charles H. Flowers High School in Springdale. We want to show you some of the video posted online to a social media account called Flowers Rampage. And as I watched videos, um, like someone just sent me a link, they're fighting outside in the parking lot where the school buses are. Like, where's leadership? Where's security? Where's security? Where's PG cops at? You're hearing from a concerned parent there who's asking not to be identified. The parent, though, and other parents tell Fox 5 their children tell them. Some of these fights started among children from different neighborhoods and over little things like stepping on a shoe. A Prince George's County Public Schools spokesperson confirms no one else was seriously injured. They do not believe students from other schools were allowed into the building. Parents tell Fox 5 they want full transparency on what happened here, and they believe the absence of their principal, Dr. Gorman Brown, over the past few months has had a major impact. All the videos have been absolutely ridiculous. Um, the children are fighting in the hallways. They're fighting in the streets of Flowers High School. And it all, in my opinion, stems from them not having Dr. Brown there to prevent any of this, because none of this happened until he was not at the school. And although the union says Dr. Brown has been reinstated, it's not exactly clear when he will return. We're digging into why he was not allowed in and put on administrative leave in the first place. Now, a letter to families did go out today. PGCPS saying in part of their letter, while we understand that conflicts may arise, we must emphasize the importance of resolving disputes through constructive means. We believe in fostering a positive and respectful school environment, and such behaviors will not be tolerated, nor are they reflective of the values we aim to instill in our students. Students. The superintendent told the parent their team was on site addressing security concerns today, and they have come up with a plan to better deploy staff throughout the school. Guys, Stephanie, thank you.